Today's math lesson is all about congruent shapes and symmetry. Let's begin. A shape is congruent when it has the same size and same shape. These two triangles are congruent. They are the same size and the same shape. They are not in the same position, but even if they're not in the same position, as long as they have the same size and same shape, they are considered congruent. Let's take a look at these examples. On the left side, these two squares are congruent. They are the same shape and they are the same size. But on the right, these squares are not congruent. They're not congruent because they are not the same size. They may be the same shape, but not the same size. In this case, we call them similar shapes. Similar shapes can be the same shape, but not the same size. Are these two shapes congruent? Yes, they are. They are the same shape and the same size. What's happened is they have been flipped. What about these shapes? Are they congruent? No, they are not congruent. They are similar shapes. This week we're also looking at symmetry. Symmetry is when you have a perfect reflection of your geometric figure. Another way of thinking of it is that if you fold right on the line of symmetry, both sides are equal. They would fold right on top of each other. Geometric shapes have different amounts of symmetry. Let's take a look. A square has four lines of symmetry. Vertical, horizontal, and two diagonal lines of symmetry. A rhombus has two lines of symmetry, diagonal. A triangle has one line of symmetry, but not all tri triangles have the same amount of lines of symmetry. A rectangle has two lines of symmetry, vertical and horizontal. And then you can look at the other shapes and see how many lines of symmetry each have. Not all shapes have lines of symmetry. For instance, this parallelogram has zero lines of symmetry. You will see symmetry almost everywhere you go. An example would be leaves. Leaves often have at least one line of symmetry. This example, they have two. Many buildings in architecture have lines of symmetry. This is a picture of the Frisco Library. It has a vertical line of symmetry. How many lines of symmetry can you find in these pictures? Pause the video while you count. Thank you for watching this video on congruent shapes and symmetry. Hope you learned a lot. See you soon.